the Pioneer viewers, how are you doing? I hope you're hopefully and well. As the Pioneer team, we continue to share with you the developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. In a moment, we will share with you one of the chronic and unsolvable problems of the Russian army. Correct prediction. Air defense systems in the war which has left two years behind and is slowly moving towards its third year. The problems of the Russian armed forces related to the air defense systems are endless and the Russian defense systems are making mistakes after mistakes. We have shared with you many data on the failure of the Russian air defense systems in our previous reports. So data on this issue is increasing day by day and the Russian experts are now openly sharing the problems in the Russian air defense systems with the public. So it is, a, it is clear that it is a clear fact that the Russian air defense systems are unable to counter the missiles and drones of the Ukrainian armed forces. So what are the latest rumors about the Russian air defense systems? Let's evaluate the latest information on this subject together with the opinion of experts. As the Pioneer team, we continue to share our reports on Russia-Ukraine war with you, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss our daily reports. You can also support me and my team by using the super thanks button below the videos. Thank you for your support. Let's start if you're ready. The Pioneer reports. So, the war between Russia and Ukraine continues. Thanks to the excellent defense of the Ukrainian armed forces, Ukrainian territory has not yet fallen into the hands of the Russian army. Attacks by units of the Russian armed forces have been costly, but the territories captured in return have been limited. The reason for this is obvious. The strong resistance of the Ukrainian armed forces and the fact that this resistance is not limited to the resistance of the armed forces. The fact that the Ukrainian people and the whole world stood by the Ukraine is a very important factor that strengthened the resistance of the Ukrainian armed forces. So, one of the important factors of the Ukrainian army's resistance was undoubtedly the attacks on the Russian territory. The air defense systems of the Russian armed forces are still not having the expected effect against the Ukrainian armed forces. And the Ukrainian armed forces are striking both Russian checkpoints and the Russian bases in the occupied Ukrainian territory and strategic targets in the Russian territory. In particular, the striking of strategic points on the Russian territory is an important factor that disturbs the Russian public opinion. The large number of casualties are as a result of the significant attacks carried out by the Ukrainian armed forces also affect the daily life of the Russian people, especially the destruction of power plants and electricity generation facilities should be considered as a very important event. So, in the past few days, quite remarkable reports on the Russian air defense systems have emerged. It is reported that these reports were prepared by the British sources, and the reports in question contains the following statements. So, Russia's air defense systems have different ranges in terms of both uh, distance and height. However, the Ukrainian armed forces are constantly targeting areas deep inside Russia with the airborne drones. Attacks reaching deep into Russia must be carefully monitored, and these attacks are causing panic and explosions in the capital in Moscow. So, the Ukrainian armed forces' attacks on the Russian territory are also targeting strategic bases such as the N Long Range Aviation Center in Russia's Saratov region and the Russian oil refineries. So, an inadequacy of the Russian air defense systems is now well known. What is surprising, however, is that the Russian leadership has not taken any significant measures in this regard. So, the Russian Federation's current air defense strategy valid until 2030, so does not address such technologies despite the fact that it has long had a threat of uncrewed vehicles on its radar. So, the Kremlin appears to have been caught off guard by the vulnerability of its territory to drone attacks emanating from Ukraine, including attacks on the air bases such as Engles. Instead of formulating a coherent strategy, Russian authorities have resorted to ad hoc measures often following attacks on its territory. Russia's challenges does not stem from a lack of equipment, but rather from a historical focus on a different type of threat. So, the war in Ukraine prompted Russia to move some of its air defense systems closer to the Ukrainian border. Russia's Panstire S-1 is among the systems being moved to close loopholes and place them on the top of government buildings. However, the effectiveness of these systems remains uncertain. So, there is some evidence that the existing short-range air defense systems, particularly the Panstire, are struggling to effectively counter small light 
unmanned aerial vehicles. Images of relatively inexpensive unmanned aerial vehicles crashing into the pan's tire in a various conflict shows that the problems are technological but also in how Russia deploys them. So, as the experts explain, the defense of the Russian territory has become extremely difficult and the Russian air defense systems are inadequate in the face of the dominance of the Ukrainian armed forces with drones, although the Russian government tried to take some measures against the inadequacy of Russian air defense systems, these measures were not enough. There is also another important detail that draws attention in these reports, the inability of the Russian army to deploy air defense systems. According to the reports, the regions where the Russian air defense systems are deployed and activated are currently faulty. This is why Ukrainian armed forces units are still able to strike Russian territory and the main bases of the Russian army. So this points to another chronic problem in the Russian military. There are really insufficient strategists and uh, specialists in the Russian army. And in such a situation, the successes of the Russian armed forces are not increasing. Their losses are increasing. So, the Russian armed forces are going through one of the worst periods in their history under the regime established by the Russian president Vladimir Putin. In such a situation, the advance of the Russian armed forces on the territory of Ukraine would cause huge losses. However, Vladimir Putin has no thoughts of turning back on this issue. So, because his political future and the goals depend on the complete invasion of Ukraine. Realizing this, Russian leader Vladimir Putin is trying to continue the war despite all the losses. So, as we've often uh, discussed this situation in the Russian army, the Russian soldiers are also uncomfortable with this situation and there is an upcoming mobilization. It seems quite likely that the Russian people will remain indifferent to this mobilization. So, what do you think? What do you think is the reason for the failure of the Russian air defense systems? And how do you interpret the lack of strategists in the Russian army? Do you think that the Russian air defense systems can be made functional again? And what do you think are the dangers that await uh, Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation? Does Vladimir Putin have the power to deal with these dangers? And how long can the Russian army continue the war under these conditions? Specify it in the comments because you know that I read and I care a lot about all of your comments.